Hi everyone, it's Ari here. I'm gonna do story time for everyone in everywhere. Today I'm gonna read Big Panda and Tiny Dragon by James Norbury. And this time I'm gonna read the summer part. Let's get started. Oops. Time doing nothing is never wasted. I wish I had met you earlier, said Tiny Dragon, so we could have gone on even more adventures together. What is my purpose? asked Tiny Dragon. Big Panda paused, then said, To sit on that stone and be with your friend. My head feels like this storm sometimes, said Tiny Dragon. If you really listen, said Big Panda, you can hear the raindrops splashing on the stone. It's possible to find a little piece even in a storm. An elder dragon is a tiny dragon who never gave up. Look, it's Grandpa Dragon. <laughs> we have a long way to go, said Big Panda. Tiny Dragon grinned. Grandpa Dragon used to say, A journey of a thousand miles begins with a cup of tea. You're a good listener, said Tiny Dragon. Listening has never landed me in trouble, replied Big Panda. I can't find the right place for this last branch, half Tiny Dragon. Big Panda chewed his bamboo thoughtfully. It's the imperfections that make it Perfect. The best thing to have with tea, said Big Panda, is a good friend. That is very true. I'm worried, said Tiny Dragon. I don't know what to do next. For just a moment, said Big Panda, stop. Breathe and listen to the wind in the bamboo. What are you doing? asked Tiny Dragon. I've no idea, said Big Panda, but it's great fun. If you seek happiness for others, you may find it for yourself. You know, said Tiny Dragon, this might be the good old days that we'll look back on with great longing. In that case, said Big Panda, let's never stop making them. Love needs no explanation. Together, we can do anything. Some people are like candles. They burn themselves out to create light for others. Uses for leaf number 17. <laughs> A parasol <laughs> and dinner. Parasol for tiny dragon and dinner for the worm. <laughs> oh boy. Hurry up. Big Panda, we're going to be late. Big Panda sat down. I like to think I'm creating anticipation. This garden is beautiful, said Tiny Dragon. Big Panda nodded. 
and we only found it because we went the wrong way so many times. <laughs> You don't do much, said Tiny Dragon. I'm full of potential, young big panda. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's for the summer story. So, I will continue with the autumn part in the autumn. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again in my next story time for everyone in every. Everywhere. See ya!